I've Got the Power is Right. <laughs> and welcome to the Power of Healing Your Energy show. I'm Christine Gold with 24 Karat Healing. And I do not own the rights to this music, but when I heard it yesterday, I'm like, okay, this is, <laughs> I don't know. The universe is talking to me. So uh, just a little bit about me. I'm an old soul empath, your intuitive energy coach and healer. And I mean, you know a little bit about me. I healed my depression and anxiety through a 360 degree approach. That includes many things. And I highly recommend meditation, intuition development, healthy eating, emotional trauma release, inner child work, shadow integration, also known as ego, and more. And I help heal your ego at a 360 degree level. And of course, that's mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually to help accelerate inner healing, to bring you back to the unconditional love that has always been with you from the beginning. And my special guest is Cherie Murray, and Cherie's mission is to help more women with their secondary income. So in today's show, she will be talking about creating secondary income, what does that look like, how to start, maintain, and live the life of your dreams. And I'm going to welcome Cherie now. And hopefully I'm pronouncing your name properly. Is it Cherie? Sure, it's perfect. It's okay, perfect. good. You say it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Cherie is actually from, is living in Spain. Where exactly in Spain are you? Yeah, I'm in um, Palma de Mallorca, a small island in the Balearics, just oh. kind of near Ibiza. Wow, that sounds beautiful. But I, I'm guessing by your accent, are you originally from Spain? No, not at all. <laughs> I've got such a mixture of accents, to be honest. So I was born in New Zealand, yes. in Nelson, New Zealand. But then for about 12 years, I lived in Australia before moving to Europe. So I have an Australian no. twang as well. <laughs> yes, yes, I, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so I, do you want me to go into your background or do you want to just talk a little bit about, I mean, I could run through everything that you've cool. done um, and what I guess what exactly you're looking to do, looking to help other women. Yeah, I, I don't mind sharing a bit of my story and my background. Um, it's brought me to where I am today and it's definitely be a, been a journey. So I never, not, uh, I always love to like share it. Uh, you know, four and a half years ago, my life looked so incredibly different. To be honest, it's actually really close to five years now. Mm -hmm. um, from a social media standpoint, I looked like I was living the dream. I was a chef on the luxury yachts. I was traveling. Everything was in abundance, well, money-wise and luxury-wise. Um, there was no time freedom. There was no choices to where I got to travel. But, you know, I was very well catered for. Um, and chefing had always been my passion, you know. Back then, I always wanted to teach people how to cook quick, clean, healthy meals. I believed that was like my purpose. Mm. Um, and it was definitely my passion at the time. But, you know, pe people that have met me now wouldn't even, would, wouldn't believe this, but I was really angry. I was a really oh. angry person. Okay. Like <clears throat> I was really tired and uninspired Mm. And I just had this fuse that could just be switched at any moment. Um, mm. I think it comes from working in kitchens and having a high-stress job. Um, I was very well trained in kitchens by some really highly regarded chefs, but I also took on their mentality. Like I took on their persona, their strong, dominant persona. And I embraced it so much that I actually ended up being that strong dominant person out of work as well which really didn't serve me <laughs> mm. so you know my work life seeped into my whole took over my whole personality and, and that makes sense I mean I'm totally resonating with the anger piece um in 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 a different way for me but that was more your you know when you talk about yin and yang about the balance yep. there was more of the yang the masculine energy because Maybe I'm wrong, but for me, it was a survival instinct. Yeah. Yes. Definitely a survival instinct. Mm. Definitely to survive. 
it was definitely survival to like survive in the kitchens, on the boats, and then just generally in life. Mm-hmm. Um, it was definitely my instinct to have that masculine mask on more often than not. Um, and yeah, I just recognized a few years ago how much I do it. And, you know, I know what, as a chef, I'm, you know, I've studied nutrition. I know what clean eating is. I just never had the time to look after myself properly. So, you know, I would exercise. I'd eat relatively healthy. I did have some pretty unsavory drinking habits back then. That's how I dealt with stress Mm -hmm. Um, in the yachting industry and kitchens was drinking after work to relax. But really it was just numbing me, I guess. Um, So (laughs) that didn't really work in the long term. It's not, an, it's not a thing I would suggest. I, I can resonate with that as well. That was my, my choice, their, you know, go-to, either that or food. It was a pretty close correlation. Yeah, yeah. And it, it seems the more I tell people, the more they're like, I, I've done it too. It seems food and alcohol are like the things we go to the most when we're stressed. Um, so I started, I got aligned with this network marketing company purely to um, – get my health back on track. You know, they had some great supplements that I could take while I was on charters. Um, It aligned with me. It all sounded good. The products were great. I didn't know what network marketing was at the time. Wasn't, was not interested at all because as a chef, I had this professional ego of no, no, no. I've studied for, well, back then it was 16 years to be a chef. I'm on luxury yachts. Why would I possibly need to create some secondary income being a salesperson? I was so against it. I had my walls up straight away Um, about sales. (laughs) I was like, not at all. And is that, do, is there maybe a perception? Because I was in sales for over 20 years. I think a lot of salespeople get, you know, painted with the same brush. Does that make sense or yeah. was it I don't was it a fear like I don't know what to do or um it was actually like now that I've really looked into it and I did like some timeline therapy and stuff a lot of work on sales and my beliefs I realized that when I was younger a lot of the time when we were having dinner a lot of sales people like telemarketers would call <laughs> and then you know you're at dinner, so obviously your parents aren't impressed. They do the best they can to politely say, no, thank you. But then after they'd get off the call, my parents would be like, oh, another bloody salesperson. <laughs> and so because I've heard that so much growing up, well, you know, enough for it to get into my young brain, it stayed there. So anything with sales, if people were ever too pushy, I was always like, oh, another salesperson. This person's just trying to get me. Um, exactly like they did with my parents when we were younger. It's just I imprinted it into my own brain. It's crazy what we can do as children. True, and we're so impressionable. (laughs) That's where, you know, our subconscious and our conscious mind, everything is all is fused together by the age of seven. Um, So, yeah, and if it keeps repeating, then, of course, that's it's like who you – you don't even know you're doing it. It's like blind – Blind, I guess, being blind to everything. It just yeah. seems normal. I get oh, it. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so it was really interesting to realize where that came from. Um, so, you know, I use the products. I love them. And then, you know, I was about seven, eight years into the super yacht industry when things started to change, you know. I'd been missing a lot of friends' weddings. I'd been missing a lot of good friends' birthdays. Mm. Of course, as a chef, I've probably missed the last, until last year, the last 17, 10 Christmases. Mm. Um, And that was all starting to stack up up on top of me. I was like, really, I have, I'm getting, I'm trading my time for money, but I'm not getting to spend it. I'm not getting to spend time with my family or anything. It's just all my time is going into this yacht, this job, this thing. Um, And just my brain started to switch. It became more open to the possibilities of doing something other than chefing or doing something something different. Um, And the final nail in the coffin was about three years ago, I lost my grandmother. Mm. And, you know, she was the grandmother I was closest to. And because I was about to get on charter, I, I couldn't go to the funeral. 
Oh, and goodness. to not be able to say goodbye was just my family understood, of course. Um, but it's still that's something I can never get back is getting to go back is getting to say goodbye. I'll, ne- I'll never get that back. Mm. And that was the final something's got to shift. I've had enough. Okay. And then actually six months later, my sister got pregnant and I was like, well, now I definitely don't want to be a FaceTime auntie. You know, I don't want my niece saying, oh, that's who's this woman? You know, every time I come home once or every second year. So those two events really hit home and made me realize that something had to change. And I was really enjoying the industry I was in, the products I was using. I really liked the company and the people. So I started to look at the income opportunity more. Over the years, I built it up doing health and wellness coaching, which I don't really focus on so much anymore. But, um, you know, helping others with their health and wellness goals. And I built up such an income that, Two, well, sorry, a year and a half ago, I could leave yachting full time. Well, actually, I got, we all got fired, made redundant because the boat sold. But luckily, okay. I had enough inca- secondary income to have the choice to be like, well, now I just want to freelance. I want, I want to work on boats when I want to work. I would rather work online full time. I'd realized my passion. And, you know, So that's been happening for about a year and a half, like off the yachts, time freedom, choice. I had my first Christmas with my my dad and my sister Um, just last year. I got to spend my um, my dad's birthday with him for the first time in a day, say 15 years. And I got to spend, what was it, like six months with my niece, like one-on-one seeing her every day. Beautiful, so beautiful. It was yeah. uh, a lot of synchronicities, a <laughs> lot of things that came together. Um, beautiful. Like I, it, it was interesting when you're talking about your grandma and I, you know, my condolences to her, um, to you and uh, to the yeah. family. But um, I'm all about signs and symbols. So when you're talking, I just happened to look because I keep track of time as well, not to go over. Yeah. Um, and, and it was 11, 11. So oh, was <laughs> that's I? a universal message for you, obviously. And I would believe that would be from your Nana as well, that she's, yeah, she's yeah. here with you. And the video, um, your video got a little fuzzy. So for me, like I do, a, sorry, I'm going off track a little, but no, 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 when I, when I do readings online, I do many, most online all over the world. When spirit is around, Things with electronics tend to go fuzzy and weird and funky. Yeah. Unless you're an empath as well, but of course you are. But I'm just, like I said, I felt Nana. She was, she's around yeah. you. So, and it was interesting when you talked about her because you got all kind of, the video got grainy. So. Oh, really? She's, she's saying oh, wow. hello. <laughs> she's saying yeah. hello. And, and I was, and I'm listening to your story, but I'm also watching. I'm very observant that way. I'm watching yeah. what's going on. Um, oh, yeah, no, beautiful. I, I just got stuff like that. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it when spirit shows up. She's, you know, she's here. She's always with you. Yeah, um, yeah. And quickly, I just, I just saw a butterfly. So I don't know if she shows you butterflies a lot or you see wings, butterflies, pictures That's of butterflies. Actually, well, not from my not from my nana, but I had a really good friend that passed and his thing was butterflies and he used to have a butterfly tattoo. Okay. And, um, well, he's coming I through think as we well. Saw a lot of a lot of butterflies at his funeral or something. That that reminds me of my friend Jonathan. 100%. Okay. Okay. Well, we're, we're recognizing Nana and we're recognizing Jonathan. And you know what? Just being, being open to the universe, I can't control what comes through. A lot of times I'll hold back on it, but since mm-hmm. we're together and it's happening, <laughs> I just wanted no, to share that, that with you. Thank you. You're welcome. I actually welcome. thought about him today, so that's actually really special of you. If you see that, that makes total sense because he came into my mind today for some, for some reason. So that's and, actually really special. Yeah, and that, and that's how it works. Like a lot of people are like, well, how, and everybody's different with their gifts. So 
for me, it was like, a, I just saw a butterfly going up and I'm like, Ooh, butterfly. <laughs> yeah. So oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> that's how so, the messages yeah. come through. I, I either hear it, I feel it, I see it. It's, it's all, it's all yeah. different and individual. Okay. So oh, wow. you had, that, yeah. you had a big, a big, to me, it sounded like you had a big spiritual awakening, um, meaning you weren't allowing what was happening in your life anymore. You pretty much said, that's it. I'm done. And you manifested, yeah. you had intention. Yeah. Yeah. And one more thing, I pulled a card just for myself. I do that while well, I try to do it every day, like an Oracle card, just to see what the energy or the message is for the day. And you were talking a lot about masculine energy and mm -hmm. I pulled, this is the card I have sitting on the top of my deck. Oh like, no, why? It's the yin and yang. Can you yeah. see it? Yeah. And the number is 22. So twos have significance and um, spiritually as well. But we're, we need to, it's basically saying focus on the yin because it was upright. So the feminine. It's, yeah. And it's interesting that we're talking today, obviously, women, empowerment. Yeah. More feminine, loving energy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my wow. Gosh, I love it when things like that, this sync up. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so I just want to see, I, see if anybody is online. If you are, say hello. Do you have questions? Um, and if you are watching this on the replay, please ask, comment below, share this out again, because I mean, not everybody can attend um, a live. Um, they could be working or you could be sleeping, depending on where you are in the yeah. world. So we would, you know, we would really appreciate um, uh, you showing up, sharing, um, just saying hi. <laughs> and if you have any questions for Sherry, please, um, please ask away. Um, we're, we're talking about um, creating more time and freedom and choice. And that's exactly what Sherry uh, has done with her life. Um, so now um, with your health and wellness company, you took about, are you basically four years to build the business? And, yeah. <clears throat> and tell me a little bit more about, I guess, the type of um, ladies that you are helping. So I don't really focus on that so much anymore. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, it was the start of this year I realized how much I loved coaching women with the secondary income, whether that was within my health and wellness company or mm -hmm. within another network marketing or MLM company, or maybe they had their own business idea but didn't know how to execute it. So I just work with women that, you know, they're already in a nine to five they're either with a network marketing or LMM company already mm -hmm. or they're looking for a secondary income. And I have a few companies that I know, like, and trust that I recommend. But my main aim is to mentor them in how to do network marketing and, you know, just general network marketing the right way because there's, there's a lot of ways that people can do it. There's a lot mm. of... You know, without creating a stigma around sales, people can be quite pushy. Yes. They're more about just slamming people with their groups and their offers than creating real friendships and finding mm. out if they actually like the person they've friended on Facebook or if yes. they, they've randomly sent a message because I know we both get these, these group things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, yes. <laughs> yeah. My mission is to teach people the right way to do it. And just to empower them, like I help a lot of clients now with their limiting beliefs around sales and their own personal limiting beliefs. You know, there's a lot of things like people feeling like they're not enough and they're not worthy enough to mm. start their own business. You know, I was a chef with no business training at all and I've created three different things that have both all worked really well. So if I can do it, absolutely anyone can. So... Beautiful. You know, I've helped I've helped a friend start up her own in home salon. So oh, it's wow. not always network marketers. It's not always people already affiliated affiliated with a company. Mm -hmm. But mostly these people already are in a nine to five, but they're just looking for more time, freedom, and choice. And that's what the secondary income gives us. Beautiful. 
Amazing, amazing. So um, I guess what do you have, uh, what do's and don'ts do you have for network marketing? If someone's Ooh. wanting to start up. Yeah, I would say do definitely research the company you're joining. Um, you know, see what their values are, see the integrity behind the products, the people, the company overall. Really research the company and mm. make sure you're aligning yourself with a company you feel comfortable with. And especially make sure you do love the products because you can't sell anything that you don't believe in. People see right through that. You know, if you're trying, say if I was trying to sell carpet, it wouldn't work because I'm just not passionate about it. But when it comes to food, when it comes to helping others, with their secondary income, I'm so passionate that nothing's going to stop me from sharing it. Um, so those are definitely some do's. Don't spam people with your offers. Mm, <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you say it in such a nice way too. <laughs> I know because I, I, I know people are always coming from a really great place when they are sending these messages. Um, and to be fair, I've done it myself at the beginning of my journey, 100%. Okay, but what yeah. I've learned is that you, you want to be creating real, genuine friendships. Mm. And sure, if they see what you're doing, if they're interested, they will come to you. But if your friend requesting people and sending page likes which to be fair, no one ever sees page likes. They get lost in my notifications. So if you're doing that, don't bother. It's honestly a waste of your time. And then if you're spamming people with your group messages or your products, just don't. Make a real human connection first. Yes. That's what we're all after, right, is a genuine human connection. Very, very important just because, take, yeah. yeah, I think we all have been approached or attacked or – it just, you know, run over with an offer. And, and that includes friends and family too, and not just strangers. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very off-putting. It, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth and it breeds um, like there's, there's no trust, no honesty and not being, you know, just um, clear cut. Like here, here's yep. what I, I, and just wanting to sell you something like sell and run. I, I learned that premise, you know, where you just hit, so many businesses and people as possible and get what you can and get out. It's like the traveling salesman. And, yes. and yeah, I'll admit it. I did it when I, you know, you're young and you're just want to be the go getter and yeah. And didn't care about the person. No. And it really goes back to no like, and trust. Definitely. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've all, we've all done things like this in the beginning of like our sales career careers. So that's what I really love to help network marketers with and do my free videos, like a lot of my videos about what not to do, you know. Just stay authentic to your true self. Don't yes. get caught up in copying what others are doing. Of course, inspiration can come of from course. other people. Mm -hmm. I get inspired by other people to share a sort of message, but I make it my own. But just don't copy and paste content for the sake of having something on your Facebook wall because True. when you do that with that sort of energy, that low vibe energy, no one will react to it because text. even with text, people can tell if it's you or not. Be real. Be okay with swearing or whatever. Just be <laughs> authentic. If that's what you do, just do yes. it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And like, yeah, like uh, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, he, he's yes. pretty famous for his swearing. And some people are put off by it, but you know what? Like he says, he's just being himself. And yeah. if he wasn't doing it, people would be like, well, what's going on, Gary? Um, I just want to interrupt. Uh, uh, Alyssa has joined us. Hi, Alyssa. And she's asking... Um, when things become really overwhelming and you may feel like giving up, what's the biggest thing you hold on to that keeps you going, keeps you positive? Oh, for me, it's 100% my why. Like okay. why, why I'm building this business, why I'm building this secondary income. So for me, and trust me, this entrepreneurial roller coaster is up and down. Sometimes I'm having the best days, weeks, 
I'm like, I, this is the best. And then, you know, sometimes like back in February, I was ready to run back to your thing. <laughs> like I was so over it. But what kept me going was remembering that I created all this and I'm still creating all this to have that time with my friends, my family, my niece, and nothing will ever override the fact that I get to go home for Christmas now, the fact that I get to be there with my family, my friends for all these special moments. So when, when the going gets tough, I just think of why. I think of why I'm doing this. Yes. And then I always switch it back to gratitude, like what am I grateful for that I have already because with overwhelm, you know, sometimes it's good if we, if we don't think we're doing so well and we get a bit overwhelmed, it's really cool to just switch it back to gratitude and just remember how far you've come and why you're going there. Very, and very true. And I, can, I totally resonate with all of that. Uh, it is a roller coaster ride. Um, and I think the, the gratitude piece is amazing. I love that. I, I have a gratitude journal and I actually recommend everyone to start one and if you don't know what to be grateful for I woke up today I am yep. breathing without with no assistance I have clean drinking water come on I'm sure there's more things than that that <laughs> you could be grateful for yeah. but I always say start with three things and work your way from there um, and be gentle and kind with yourself we tend to be our biggest critics Yes. And we tend to have a, a um, uh, you know, our memory seems to be fuzzy on all the wins that we had. We tend to forget. Yes. We focus on all, all the, oh, I was a failure. Or, oh, that was a wreck or whatever that happened to be. Actually, it's not a failure. It's a wonderful learning experience. Yeah. <laughs> I always like to think of um, failing forward. Mm. You know, you're just learning. You're yes. growing every time. Exactly. Cause... Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Um, so it looks like we have a few other people joining. Say hello. Um, I just, I, I've got my phone as well because I learned from my last, um, the last time I went live, I did, I started a watch party. Yeah. Not a good idea on my laptop because oh. you can hear the bat both going at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we had a little technical interference there, but um, I can see that Shauna has joined us and Clint has joined us. So I, we're talking about creating a secondary income and what that looks like and how we can help you, and especially Cherie. Um, she has lots of experience. She's been building this for over four years. And, I mean, her energy alone, I mean, that's why I'm drawn uh, to certain people. <laughs> Yeah, you have, you have that inner light. You're bubbly. You're you're. Every time I see you on Facebook, you got a big smile on your face, um, and it's authentic. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most important thing. Would you agree when you're dealing oh, with absolutely. others? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Because people can see right through it when you're not being authentic. True, true enough. Um, does anybody have any questions? Um, looks like I have Bonnie joining us. Hi, Bonnie. Thanks for joining. Do you have any questions um, for Cherie or for myself? Or are you looking at creating a secondary income? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you doing it on your own? What's happening out there? Are you looking at maybe going out on your own and you're not sure? Um, what to do and I mean there's so many things to do um, all there is and I've done it both like my business coaching is my own thing and then I have affiliate marketing which is obviously with the company so I've done it both ways actually twice with network marketing affiliate marketing and then I used to actually have where my passion was cooking and helping others to cook Yes. I had some online cooking programs, which I, which was mm -hmm. my whole, all by myself. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I love, I love creating programs and video content and email campaigns and sales funnels. For some reason, I absolutely love it. It's so much fun for me. <laughs> I guess it's the creative side. Yes. Yeah, and, and tapping into the creative 
piece. The sake I work with chakras, so about energy, and oh, yeah. I just happen to be wearing orange today. So that's all about the sacral and being creative, your inner child, having fun, being a free spirit. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to bring that to today's show because I know for sure you're a free spirit. So yeah, <laughs> kind of wanted to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, that's I, I guess what I pick up on people within the first five seconds. I can get pretty good idea of who you are. Um, even if you're wearing like those 10 masks, I can take them all off. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I love that. I would, yeah. have, would have loved for you have to have met me like five years ago. You would have seen right through it. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. I, as I say, sometimes, <laughs> well, I tell my partner I'm a bullshit uh, meter, so don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> he doesn't like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, too funny. And it was his birthday yesterday. So it, here's this. He's turned 45, so we're now the same age. And uh, I asked him what's the secret to staying young and, and you know, looking young, feeling young. Yeah. And he says, don't get married and don't have children. I'm like, <laughs> and he never yes. did, so it's all good. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Oh, too funny. Um, Bonnie is asking, um, she's saying, I have been a stay-at-home mom for the last 17 years. It's tough looking and finding work at this point. Uh, any, do you recommend anything for Bonnie? Yeah. Um, so I actually have a lot of friends that are mums in the same sort of position, you know. <clears throat> you you take on this whole different entity, I guess, you know, you're the mom, you're the carer looking after everyone. Um, and then I guess when you want to go back to work, it's tricky to find something that suits. And to be honest, a lot of my friends that are mothers, like especially a lot of young mothers, um, they have actually started to getting into the online marketing businesses. So either with network, a network marketing company or, um, and, you know, a digital marketing company. But what I would say is just think about what you're passionate about the most. Like, what, what do you love? Like, is it helping others with their health? Are you into fitness? Are you mm -hmm. into digital marketing? Like, like, follow your passions first because I, I can say, yeah, come, come join the marketing company I'm with now. It'll be great for you. But first of all, just really talk to someone or anyone, you can even message me 100% and just figure out what you're truly passionate about because there are a lot of great companies out there, but maybe you'll end up being like me and wanting to be a coach. Maybe that's your true passion. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty cool when that finally clicks in. When I finally realized that, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and, and that you've been doing it your whole life? Yeah. You just didn't know it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I've definitely been doing it in a, in a different way, but, yeah, coaching as such for sure. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely, like, if you want to continue staying at home, definitely something online. Um, it would be so much easier for you. And just having the freedom to work from anywhere, especially if your kids get ill, have to stay home, definitely something online. But think about your passions first. And, yeah. and then find something that suits you, whether it's a network marketing company, a digital marketing company, um, or you want to start something yourself. But I'm 100% more than happy um, to chat with you and see what your passions are. Oh, that's work beautiful. Something out. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I always love meeting new people. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice, nice. Um, so I'm just, yeah, and for me, it, it – like I said, it just came naturally. It, like people just come to me all the time. I felt like I was a cat, you know, like Charlie Brown, you know, where she's sitting at the booth and 25 cents for advice. I mean, it yeah, was <laughs> the same thing. Um, and I went back and thought about what I wanted to be when I, when, when I was a child and I, when I grow up and I still haven't grown up, so yeah. it don't matter. Um, <laughs> I just find that I just find I'm not making the same dumb mistakes that I did in my twenties. I'm much wiser and blah 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 blah. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I just made a list of things that I wanted to do, and and it all tied back to helping people um, 
living, you know, an authentic life, um, being creative and helping people heal. Cause it, you really, yeah. I think you have to find something that, ah, it's almost like it's something that's happened to you personally. And you kind of have to go in and go pull those pieces out. If that makes sense. Yeah, oh. definitely. Definitely. I always wanted uh, to be a vet growing up. Ah, uh, I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be a dancer. So I think that's why I love music so much. And I'm always, you know, dancing whenever I can. So um, poor Lynn. I, I, I do know Lynn. She says that she can't stay. She has to watch. She'll have to watch the replay because she is working. Um, okay. She says goodbye for now. Oh, thank um, you for watching. And uh, Bonnie says thank you. And, oh, Lynn came back. She says, what if her passion is animal rehab and communication? Well, oh, sure. So that's a great niche for a starters. Uh-huh. And I have told her this. I have told her this. I, I do know yeah. her uh, all on a friend level as well. So yeah. Um, go ahead if you have any so, advice for her. Who, if you've already got a niche like that, that's incredible. Like the more defined your niche and the more original it is, mm. the, the absolute better. So I would go with it. If that's your passion, just, just go with it. It doesn't matter. Like I remember when I decided I wanted to be an online business coach for women, I thought shivers, this is a crazy idea. Mm. But then I thought I'm super passionate about it. I can, I would help people for free. That's when I knew I was really passionate about it. Um, I'd do it regardless. Yes. So <clears throat> I would go with that. I would start to um, see if there's anyone else that does the similar thing, see what you like about what they do, what they, you don't like, um, figure out, I don't know if this is something you can do online or you have to have an office space, but um, think about some logistics, get a coach 100%. And, yeah, I would start researching who else in the market does something similar to this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're not taking their ideas. It's just something I did when I started doing my chefing courses and I had another business coach back then and they were like, research your niche, Sheree. Like, look at influencers in your industry and see what they're doing. So I would do the same. I would go see the influencers in your industry, what they're doing, how they're doing it, you know, it's, it's not to copy, it's just research. And just see, see how you can turn that into your own business. And definitely get a coach, get someone that can guide you through it. Because every, every coach has a coach, right? I have a coach. But exactly, like... exactly, exactly. <clears throat> I, that's wonderful advice. Um, I mean, I, I'm always watching, learning, and grabbing pieces from pretty much yeah. everywhere and just inspiration too. Um, and I think, well, it, it's honestly, it's, it's more of, for me, it was a worth thing. Am I worthy? Yes. Can I do yeah. this? Yeah, There's all that doubt and stuff. No yep. more doubt. You, you are worthy. You are doing and act like it's already been done. You yes. are the animal rehab and communication specialist. And you can do this online, by the way. Oh, okay. I, cool. I get those questions with Reiki because I, I do distance Reiki healing. Oh, yeah. And I work with people and their pets as well. And you can, yes, completely online. You can do it. I mean, That's energy amazing. just, it transfers. It doesn't, it's yeah. here. It's, th this part has to move Yeah. to this part. The heart. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the great thing with uh, online is anything that can be done online, there's less overheads. You just need the internet. Yes. It's like I have so many friends that have shops, you know, brick and mortar businesses. My, my dad has one. But the overheads with staff, internet, equipment, mm. products, it's a lot. So that's fantastic. Like, and as you said, Christine, act like it's already happened, that you are that specialist. Like visualization is like so freaking powerful. I, I envisioned my visa coming and it happened exactly as it did with my passport arriving and the way I acted. So if I can do it with a passport, you can do it with <laughs> anything. <laughs> nice. There yeah. you go. There you go. And, and if you're 
and it's always, you know, like start small and see what happens. Like I, I, you know, even with money, I'll be like, I want to manifest $5. Like that's how I started. Yeah. And then it, it, instead of a day, then I built up for the week and then for the month and then for the year. And I've actually, I've written a check. I, I don't know how many people write checks, but I kind of pulled a Jim Carrey where there was a story about him when he first started out, he wrote a check to himself for a million dollars for oh, services, yeah. acting services rendered. And he had a date, a due date. And I think it was a month before that date was to expire. He landed his role on the mat with the mask remember the mask movie yeah and then boom no that was it I yeah i i love know. his i love his well i love stories period but his is yeah. pretty inspirational him being canadian as well but uh yeah. i just and yeah. living his living his dreams just going for it he lived on um i think his cousin's property in a trailer i mean there's Lots oh, of celebrities or people that have made it that have lived in there that were homeless. Yeah. Yeah. Or like and Warren he's... Buffett. He's a billionaire. I just heard the oh, other day. Yeah. He made 90% of his income, hold on to this, after the age of 50. Oh, no way. So I'm 45. I still got five. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I can do it tomorrow. It's all good. Uh, Who cares? Absolutely. Who cares? Yeah. yeah, age age is not a factor when it comes to like living your dreams. Like you can always yes. reinvent yourself at any time. It doesn't, you know. I could have said, "Oh, I'm 36. I've been a chef for this long. There's I can't reinvent myself." But I was like, "Screw it, I'm going to." Yes, I love and that. Just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and just yeah, have surrender and just jump, leap, make that leap, make that jump. Because if you yeah. don't, there's another saying, don't die with the music still in you. The stuff. Yes. That was a Carl I Jung. Know. Carl Jung said that. I really um, like that saying. Yes, yeah, so do I. Because I, I see it as, because I guess biggest regret on your deathbed is I, I didn't do this and I didn't do that. And I didn't love hard enough. I did, you know, stuff you were talking about, like you didn't get to spend time with your family. You missed weddings and uh, your Nana's funeral, stuff like that. That's the stuff I don't want anyone to go through. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I was just saying today, you regret the stuff you haven't done, not the stuff you've done at yes. the end of the day. Definitely. So it's totally good. Um, and Lynn is saying thank you both. Very much appreciated. I visualized zero balance on my MasterCard, but it didn't happen. Oh, geez. Oh. She, she's a joker. She's always joking. <laughs> Keep working yes. on it, Lynn. Keep going, Lynn. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Karen. She was watching at some point, and she does have her own business. I believe she has a cleaning business. And then, but she's doing a lot of creative stuff on the side, like making, um, you know, those rustic signs and personalized night lights and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and wonderful. personalized items that you would have around the home. So a shout yeah. out to Karen. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, if you have a question, please ask. Um, looks like we're, we're coming close to wrapping up our time. But I just wanted to see if anybody else had any other questions. Um, if, you know, you'd love to share this out to your friends, your family, even afterwards, and they get to see it, that would be amazing. If you're watching the replay, please comment below. We will still interact with you. We will still send out offers. Whatever it is, we're still going to come back and say, hey, thank you for showing up. So, um, and she's just wishing us an amazing day. You have a great day too, Lynn. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, so is there something you'd like to leave um, uh, before we wrap up for everyone watching? Um, do you have a special <coughs> offer that you'd like to extend? And um, if you have some links, um, could you, I guess we'll post those below as well if people want to get a hold of you and how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm very easy to find on social media. Um, I will pop my links below. I've got a YouTube channel that I do upload a lot of my Facebook lives and other videos, especially that'll help that have helped a lot of people with, um, you know, oh, what was it? Um, 
their limiting <laughs> beliefs around sales, a few videos on what not to do in network marketing or if you're an online entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. So I'll put the link to my YouTube channel. My I have a Facebook group called the Side Hustle Movement where yeah. I put a lot of free training in there um, because that's just a group for people that are either interested in creating a secondary income, they want to start their own business, or they already have one, and they just they just want some other people to bounce ideas off. And, you know, I'm always very active in there. I'm always posting a lot of free content that's going to give people value, um, and it's all free, so I'll post the link to that. And at the moment, I'm also, I'd love to offer anyone that's tuning in, watching the replay, watching now, um, like a free online coaching um, coaching call, like a 30-minute coaching call. It won't be a sales call. Just to, you know, if you've started a business or if you're unsure, you've got an idea, I'd love to just chat, see how we can execute it, give you some tips um, and just get the ball, ball rolling because, you know, if we don't make take any action, we're not going to get anywhere. So, I'd love to offer, you know, free three 30-minute, oh, however many free calls. I don't mind. I won't put a number on it. Oh, um, wow. Very generous. Yeah. But, <laughs> but free coaching calls just to any viewers that are looking to start a secondary income or have a business. They're stuck in a rut. They've got some, you know, mindset issues around sales, some limiting beliefs in themselves. Let's just jump on a call and get rid of those. Beautiful. That's, wow, beautiful. And like I said, I mean, Sherry's energy speaks volumes. And I'm sure just even chatting with her, you're going to have so many epiphanies, aha moments, you get some ideas. It's great to share and connect with others. And especially with people that resonate with, you know, your vibe or what you're trying to accomplish, like a common goal. And we're all about raising the vibrations, keeping them high. Um, you know, to serve a greater purpose, which is to, you know, help women, um, you know, bridge that gap and empower each other um, and to help each other and not to be me against you. No, no, no. We're all in this together. So let's, let's do this. Yes. (laughs) And you're just coming from a place of scarcity of your, you know, not willing to share information or, you're holding on to things. And, and I used to do it with my yes. program. My goodness, I was very, it was like the CIA under wraps what I was creating. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> then, then I realized what's the point. When it gets released, if people really want to copy it, it's not going to be the same as mine. That's and so right. Now I, now I just share information freely. You know, it's we're all here to empower each other, all here to help each other. Um you know, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about for me. Great. Uh, Bonnie says, thank you for your time, ladies. Thank you, Bonnie, for joining us. Thank you. And please share this with others. We we really appreciate it. And I am going to wrap this up because I I try to keep it under an hour. (laughs) Yeah. As much (laughs) as I can. Um, But I want to thank you again, Cherie, for, for your time, your love, your presence. We had spirit come in come yeah. through and give some messages. So you're going to have to actually go back to what was it? The first 10, 15 minutes, maybe something like that. So just a little teaser. You're going to have to go back. Yeah. <laughs> um, and again, if you'd like to contact Cherie, we'll leave the links below or comment. Um, you would like that uh, complimentary coaching with Cherie, get some ideas on your, how to grow your business, implement your business. And uh, for me, um, I do have a contest still going on my Facebook page. Head on over there because I'm making the draw tomorrow for two full readings. Um, And they're they're Reiki rescue readings. And you need to go to my page if you want to know more about that. That, I'm just going to leave that there. So yeah, I'm going to check it out. (laughs) Oh, there you go. Of course. You you, you follow the steps and you're entered. You're you're good to go. And Spirit is saying, yes, as soon as I get an itchy nose, it's it's yes go 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 um yeah that's another thing that comes in and just weird things but um I also do weekly intuitive guided messages on YouTube so subscribe to my YouTube channel um what else I have a lot of freebies meditations downloads just 
check it out. You're not sure. I also do intuitive coaching, complimentary, and that goes for Cherie as well. If she maybe will exchange, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'd love you to come back on uh, as well oh, if you have time and find that. out what's going on and how you're progressing because things change rapidly. Oh, I mean, we're talking talk about this. summer, how quickly everything is, the time is just gone. Oh. It's so <laughs> I want to wish you and everyone here love, light and blessings. And please remember healing begins where the ego ends. Take care, everybody. Oh, nice. Thank you.